She is an incredible international elite athlete who holds four world records. She's also the founder of the High Altitude Training Center in Iten. As if that's not enough, she's also the founder of her own sportswear brand, Lorna. Let's live out loud with one of the world's fastest women, Lorna Kiplagat, next. Let's go catch her. Oh, oh, catch her. Wait for me, Lorna. I'm over here. Hello and welcome to Sheila Lives Out Loud. I'm so glad you found this channel. As always, please click subscribe. Remember to click that bell, that's your notification bell, so every time we upload an episode, you never get to miss out. And we're living out loud at the waterfront. Karen, set up shop at East Africa's premier lifestyle and retail destination. Join the likes of local and international brands that are all calling the waterfront Karen home the waterfront Karen, you've arrived. And today we've got the absolute pleasure and honor of living out loud with a woman who is phenomenal in every way. Lorna Kiplagat, hello and welcome. Thank you so much for it's having me. It's so wonderful. You know, I just see you on the news, running, breaking world records. How do you feel about holding world records? You know, I've always wanted to know when you break a world record, how do you feel? I mean, running is such an amazing uh, thing to do because you are testing your body. And uh, to find out that you are one of the first people in the world, it really, it's amazing. You sometimes wonder how do you do it, but uh, uh, it's uh, challenging, but also very fulfilling. Fantastic. Thank yeah. you so much for making the time to sit with me and live out loud. And I go back to the beginning with you. Did you always know sports was where you would call home? I have liked always to run. Uh, I've had a family backgrounds of runners and I, I, I have wanted to run and to test my ability and my how fast I could go and, or I could run. Right. So it's something that is passion to me. I've loved it, I've enjoyed it, and uh, of course I made a career out of it, which was even fun. In looking at how you developed your talent, where did it begin? Where did you know that you were destined for the world stage? For me, it started quite early, uh, when I was already still in, uh, you know, young. Yeah. Because uh, when I was in school and we were competing with uh, class students, I was one of the first one. I never knew, of course, that I could run that fast, but uh, it developed quite early in my, yeah, when I was still very young. Yeah. Uh, I ran for primary schools, I ran in secondary school, I was international, uh, came all the way to the national level. And uh, it's only before my high school that I realized, I think I can make a career out of it. Okay. Yeah. In making a career out of it, you know, there were some runners who also found government jobs. There are those who had a career running and were also employed by the government or also had other businesses running. Was running a sole occupation for you, like your end all and your be all? Running was really, um, yeah, something that I, 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 I decided very highly that this is what I'm going to focus on it. Mm -hmm. And, um, of course, I had other opportunities, yeah. but I, I wanted to really focus on running and develop it to the highest level possible. Mm -hmm. And I was lucky to have a good support team uh, where I could manage without struggling to, to, yeah, to reach to that level. Let's talk about the road to getting to where you are. Yeah, it wasn't easy, especially because we were one of the first women runners here in Kenya. Not really fast, but... Uh, among the first ones. Um, among really. the first ones. And, yeah. uh, by that time, uh, uh, running for women was not really uh, appreciated as like now. Mm. There were not too many uh, international women runners. Yeah. And uh, of course, sometimes when you're going training uh, and you're a country, mm. one of the challenges that I saw it was difficult is that when you get out to run yeah. and uh, and people are looking at you like, look at this crazy one, what, they, what is she doing? <laughs> and of course nowadays that's become something which is very normal, yeah. but those days uh, really wasn't. Sometimes you are running until uh, 
you don't want to meet with people you have to wake up very early in the morning yeah uh also when uh, i had developed and was 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 also uh making a career out of it is you have a lot of uh things that you have to forfeit you just have to focus you can't go out you you can't do anything yeah, you just you see have to, all your friends doing certain things but you know you can't do yeah it. you just have to focus because the next time you have to a competition yeah you have to uh it's, it's kind of a boring life actually <laughs> because it's very this yeah, you so stick it's to like, the routine it's like run yeah eat sleep mm. And, go and repeat it. And repeat again. And Eat, again. run, sleep. And Eat, like. run, sleep. <laughs> repeat. <laughs> so we had not a lot of options really, but mm. uh, because I really enjoyed mm. and I had a good team, um, it didn't bother me. But um, And it was worth it. You look yeah, back now and yeah, every yeah. moment was not a moment denied because you can still enjoy everything, everything that now. everybody yeah. was enjoying yeah. then. Yes, Nothing yes, really yes, changed. Yes, yes. I want to look back on all the achievements you know and there's so many when you do a study of Lorna you're not even sure which one to ask about but I sit here and I look at you and I think to myself you know when you're running when you're out there just you and your feet and your faith and you're running what goes through your mind because it's not easy it's 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 not easy but when you like it yeah. It's, it's like a hobby. What do but you think about? Because it's 42 kilometers plus sometimes. Okay. If, you're, if you're doing a competition, yeah. you don't even think because you don't even, you, there's a lot of calculation. Like, how do I feel still? Uh, do you have any pain going through your body? Um, do you, um, how are your friends feeling? Uh, what time can I take off? Uh, <laughs> what time am I running? So you have right. to calculate like what am I running per kilometer? Uh, what is my heart rate? Is it like am I going above my yeah. what I'm supposed to be to be my heart rate? Yeah. All those kind of things. Are you suffering? Are you? And then you have to be patient. Yeah. So you really have no time to think about uh, other things, but mm -hmm. only. As you calculate all these things, is focusing on the finish line to win. You don't, of, of course, course, want to Nothing be second. Else. No. Yes, you don't You've want been to be training hard for it. Yeah, you don't want to be second, third, or whatever. You're just thinking, I'm One. going for it. So Go you see, it. you're just focusing at the finish line. That's the winner's mentality, and you know, it's all about what's happening between your ears. Running is your mind. Where's your mind at? Yeah. Because I think you give up in your mind first before you actually give up physically or you win in your mind first before you actually win physically as well yes and um, the other thing is uh, like if you're training we train quite a lot like yeah. sometimes yeah almost 300 kilometers a week and uh, when you're doing a long run yeah. you just focusing on okay the event which is coming yeah and when you're going a bit easier, you are focusing on, you want to be an Olympic champion. Right. You know, you don't think on, oh, I want to invest in this, I don't, <laughs> no. no. You just look, look ahead. <laughs> yeah, you like, Stay you're, thinking, course. you're thinking on your friends who uh, other competitors you've yeah. done together and mm. the way they were suffering mm. or how strong they are and how you want to to challenge and beat in like, a, um, like win from them. Okay. So it's just, it's just a whole running thing in your mind. Right. Yeah. For all the great things that have happened, there were also some very difficult moments. What was the most difficult challenge for you? Um, a moment where you looked at the mountain before you and you weren't quite sure what was going to happen. What was the most difficult challenge for you? There are quite a lot of challenges, of course. For example, yeah. you, you, you want to win, you train so hard and uh, you didn't perform as how you wanted mm -hmm. and especially when you are running something like Oli competing in olympics because yeah. it, it, it happens only once in four years yeah. and then if you don't reach the goal then you really feel like devastated like mm -hmm. four years of training yeah. and you didn't get it it's it's quite hard right and how uh, do you recover from that of course the, the support team around you yeah is very important because sometimes if you are, if you don't have the right team, they can say, you see, you lost. Yeah. And if you have a right team, would say, hey, it's just four years to come. Don't worry, you've done your best. 
uh, it will get better again you know those yeah. kind of so yeah. the motivation of the team around you is so important right. and if you have that people that encourages you then you come up quicker okay. and uh, for me I was lucky to have a husband who was very supportive yeah. and he was like you know what it's just running there is another life mm. there is a life to live and yeah. Keep moving Keep forward. Keep moving forward. Yeah, you don't and sit it, in the it one It could take place. like um, a day, yeah, two days, maybe a week mm. of, of feeling very down. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you forget and then you... You back up again. You back up again and then you plan other things. I like that your husband mentioned that there is another life, that life continues. <laughs> and so that brings us back to the other life. Because running is never going to get out of you. You're yeah. always going to be a runner, first and foremost. Yes. But you've reinvented and you've, you've broadened your territories. Let's talk about the training center. Where did that come from? The training center started uh, early uh, 2000. Mm -hmm. Because um, as, as I mentioned to you before, like, it was quite tough for women to yeah. you know to go out there and running and people looking at you yeah uh, and uh, I realized we, did, we didn't have a training center for girls uh, people asked me because I had ma I had met it yeah. from the community like hey can you also mentor our girls can you also uh, help them can you direct them maybe they have talent but I couldn't keep them all in my house <laughs> <laughs> so, that's true you could so, try but it really wouldn't so work I was at like, the end okay, of the I'd day like to do it but yeah where do we stay so yeah. at least my parents uh, helped me to put up the training center mm -hmm. like they supported in terms of getting that fa uh, wood to build the the, the, the actual the, the, center itself yeah yes. yeah everything mm -hmm. and uh, giving us food for two years yeah. that's how we started actually the high altitude training center yeah. like was for only us girls and then step by step it grew. Mm -hmm. We didn't need it anymore because we were basically accepted as women and we could run and yeah. others and then others from the training center, they made it well. Mm -hmm. And then they also hosted more, more four others or five others. And yeah. so we, we spread it. And uh, then I didn't have to do uh, the whole thing by myself. On your own. And now you can see, I remember in um, uh, nowadays we have if we go to world champions or yeah. uh, any championship or Olympics, yeah. we have the same um, number, mm -hmm. maybe even more. Uh, the same, we are equal. Right. Men and women are equal. Yeah. Like it's if not you just are, a handful of, yeah, of women and then like, many men. Yeah, it yeah. was like two women going to Olympics and the whole team of men <laughs> full. But now it's uh, equal. Yeah. And I, for me, I see this as a, a really successful thing and okay. uh, like a breakthrough. The far where it has come to, mm -hmm. we were in a very small village yeah. where people were like, what are you doing in the middle of the bush? <laughs> and we were like, yeah. So there was really nothing, basically maybe a few buildings. Mm -hmm. The economy has grown mm -hmm. and it has become really a big, a big a city. Really, really good like, hive uh, of activity. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. like uh, economically, mm -hmm. I think the whole village of Iten has really benefited from it and that is for me um, a breakthrough. Yeah. Uh, would love to see other people also coming up yeah. so that we are not the only one, uh, other girls yeah. doing the same and then instead and for me I like to make it more like perfect yeah. instead of getting bigger yeah. Uh, maintain what you have, mm -hmm. but do it uh, do it right and right. Yeah, make perfect it perfect. Make, make it continue perfect. sharpening yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's my, so that's it's not about thing. expansion; it's about sharpening. Yes, and yes, do it. Yes, yes. All right. In continuing this thread about reinvention and the next life and potential for growth, you've also got a sports brand, and it's called Lorna. And I think I heard about your brand um, for the first time back in the year 2015. Yes. And the first lady was running in the Beyond Zero Marathon. Yes. I remember doing 21 kilometers then, and she ran in your sports gear. Yes. I remember seeing that and I thought, wait, wait, I am going to make it one day and get myself some Lona sportswear brand. It's taken a while, but here we are today. Yeah, it looked amazing in it. I feel so good in it. It's such an incredible brand, but yeah. I want to talk about what inspired you to create it. As I competed before, yeah. um, and I was sponsored by many companies, and sometimes you get uh, this sports apparel, which it doesn't motivate you to get out of your house and do something. <laughs> if you have, I think if you have nice apparel, 
that good looking, yeah. well designed, you want to put it on and go out, do walking, mm -hmm. do jogging, mm -hmm. do. But if you have a very boring outfit, out outfit even your performance is very boring. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, that that's one of the things that I wanted to bring change. I wanted to bring something for which is um, inspired by African mm -hmm. colors, African designs, African, you know, something which we have a touch in it, but also stylish and uh, and, and motivating. Yeah. And I wanted to bring change in that. I mean, if you see now here in Kenya, it's like most the companies, they don't have attire that, that fits almost everybody. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. most the women, if yeah. they want to buy something which is really for women, then they don't have what it fits them. And mm -hmm. then you end up putting on something that it's uh, men designed. Exactly. And for me, I find that... Uh, yeah, you not wanted done, it, not yeah. done. You're designing it from a woman's perspective, for a woman's body, and not just any woman, an African woman. Because, you know, sometimes we have <laughs> two different women living inside. One is big at the top, one is small at the bottom, another one is small at the top and yeah. big at the bottom. Yeah. So it's, it's it, there's some thought, not even some, there's a lot of thought, a lot of thought. that's gone yeah. into this brand. Yes, yes, yes. and um, as an, uh, a runner, yeah. I wanted something also designed by runners. Yes. In looking at the way forward, I know you are a brand ambassador for Tatu City. Yes. So tell me a little bit more about that. Uh, what happened uh, some time back, I yeah. came to uh, know each other with some um, people who work in uh, Tatu City. It's a new city yeah. where sports is incorporated. Uh, it's like when you will be, you can't run away from doing sports because you come out of your place, mm. the first thing you you will uh, meet is like r running trail, yeah. biking trail. And I asked them, why don't we, you know, like make it a running city yeah. also, like a fitness city, like a right. um, uh, wellness city. So uh, in that case, we, we, we're gonna partner together and uh, we'll do some events there uh, through Lona Sports. And I think it's a new city that also uh, people from who are looking for different places to live yeah. is that, that that is the place to really go for. Okay. Yeah. When I think about Lorna Sports, this is very experiential, where you're encouraging other people to tap into sports. It's not just Lorna is the one who's doing the sports alone. No. You're mm. opening it up and saying, hey guys, let's spend time could be a Saturday, it could be a Sunday somewhere where you get to meet people, interact, and get down to some great physical activity, some running, you know, some stretching, and, and interaction, good old fashioned networking. Yes, and um, why I like to be a good ambassador of running is like, yeah. I, I appreciate what uh, running has done to me. Mm. And I want to be a good ambassador because without running, I wouldn't be where I am at the moment. I like running not only for myself, but also to help others, people to begin with. I could talk to you until tomorrow, but you're a woman on the move. You run like the wind. The wind is waiting for you. I can hear the wind calling. In closing, as we wind up, there could be someone who's watching and she's thinking, one day I'm going to be like Lorna Kiplagat. But life, you know, is such that, you know, frustrations will always present themselves. What are you going to say in closing to motivate the next generation of Kenyan female runners? I will tell everyone who is a runner, either you are a lead or you are a beginner or you are a, uh, or you just a hike. It's like no pain, no gain. You have to like it, you have to love it. You have to believe in it. And if you believe in it, even if you are a recreational runner who is just starting, running you can start with walk run walk run until your body accepts like you can run um, it is healthy for you yeah. which is very important we have to get out there and move we have no we have no choice but to really start getting fit and that is very important mm -hmm. so i encourage everybody to take up sports basically sports mm -hmm. so if you feel you are good in another one you don't have only to uh, to run, yeah. so I encourage everybody to take up sports and get move. out and move and be <laughs> fit and, and enjoy life. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time. We wish you all the very best.
you do not run alone. <laughs> <laughs> your strong you folks no, are here. No, and you now have no option. I have no option. You have yeah. my number. I have your number. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have got the gear. The gear will be calling Which me and telling me to go out you. there and run. Yeah. I am so grateful for the opportunity to, to sit with you and, and speak with you. And I know you've got a website and you're on social media as well. Yes. Yeah, so um, uh, Lona Kiplagat uh, yeah. on Twitter mm -hmm. at Lona Kiplagat. Also Facebook, also Instagram. And our website is uh, lonasports.com. All right, so many ways that we can find you. Yes. So get moving, get into your sports because it is important. Your body was designed to move. Thank you for checking out this episode. And we are at the Waterfront Karen, East Africa's premier destination for lifestyle and wellness. And did we tell you there's a jogging track, by the way, right here at the Waterfront Karen? Oh, yes. If you're going to move your body, you're going to move your body while you're here as well. So pop in and have a great day out with friends and family. We have to remind you to click subscribe and hit notifications. That way you don't miss an episode when we upload. But until we catch up again, I think it's only fitting we go out and move, Lorna. Shall we yeah. go and move? Yeah, let's, yeah, let's do go that. on. We're yeah. going to move. Let's, let's show them. Uh, moving, moving, <laughs> <laughs> moving. <laughs>